hello guys welcome to this video today in this video we will learn about a concept that is catch-all address what is catch-all address i have prepared a notepad for you in this video we will see what is catch-all address why it is used it is used by whom and we will also see the configuration as well as the testing. Let me open my Zimna server. In this Zimna server, you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 accounts, 6 user accounts. These are valid usable user accounts. Now, if someone from outside or inside let's assume test 5 sends a mail to test 1 it will be delivered to test 1's inbox if any outsider test a uh, send a mail to test 1 it will be delivered to test 1's inbox but if someone sends a mail to a account or an account that doesn't exist in the server then what will do the regular or general behavior is this server will, will bounce back that mail to the sender let me show you an example let's go to the web mail of test 5 so let's compose a message to xyz at the rate sample servers dot xyz test 5 doesn't know whether xyz exists or not he just sends a mail so test test sends the mail also let's open the CLI and is, as you can see a non-delivery notification is sent to test 5 if I refresh the inbox of test 5 I will get the non-delivery not notification it says mail cannot be delivered to XYZ now it can be a honest mistake also like test 5 is trying to send a mail to test 1 but ra rather than typing it test 1 he mistakenly types it test 1 0 and send mail and sends it and he thinks that okay my mail is sent i don't have to worry but if he doesn't check his inbox in a timely manner he will miss to see that there is a non-delivery notification sent to his mailbox that the mail cannot be delivered now this is an insider example So the catch-all address now we comes to what the catch-all address is is an address that catches all the emails that comes to this server destined for this sample servers.xyz domain. So we will have a particular email address or we can modify this email address to catch all the emails that comes to the server but doesn't have a valid recipient therefore this server doesn't provide any bounce back to the sender it saves the mail to that catch all address so now the question is why should we do this some companies or 
some business business email providers provides this kind of cash flow address because they do not want to lose any single of their important emails if you have set a cash flow address you will not miss any single important email address think is think a scenario that you have a remote buyer or sender that sends you email but honestly or intentionally or mistakenly he misspelled your email address and send you an email that email comes to your server but as he misspelled the two address your server will, will bounce back that email to that sender and as i mentioned if he doesn't check his inbox properly or in a timely manner he will miss that he his mail is not delivered therefore this whole communication will fail and you may face lots of financial issues or financial losses due to this failed communication that's why some business companies uses this kind of casual address so that they never miss any kind of emails that is important my this statement also answers who says this some business companies usually regular users or regular companies doesn't set this kind of casual address because with the benefit of catching all the emails including the important emails casual address also catches all unnecessary emails also because your server is continuously fighting with spam emails non-existing emails and lots of unnecessary emails if you set a casual address then your server have to deliver all those mails to that casual address and the particular casual address will consume a lot of storage in your server that's why it's a critical question for you whether you should set up a casual address in your server or not that depends on your scenario on your business on your purpose now let me show you the configuration of setting up a casual address so what we saw that we send a mail to xyz.com it bounced back now we will set a casual address let me create a casual let me create a casual address first or i can use the one of these existing account as a casual address so let them prove create account casual at the rate So is it so I have created a casual address let me refresh it you can see the casual address don't confuse it that the casual address is set I have created an account that is Ha that has a name of catch all now i have to give the server the instruction so that the server use that address as a catch all address for that let him prove modify account use this account or modify this account attributes as a zimbra mail all all catch all address for the domain sample server dot xyz because you there is a possibility that your server has multiple domains so you can set multiple catch all address for different different domains so right now this catch all address is for this domain so 
whoever sends mail to this this domain if the recipient doesn't exist that mail will not be bound back and will be forwarded to catch all server or catch all address let me open the log again try to send an email test 10 2 2 as you can see from this log from test 5 this mail is delivered to the catcher address because test 10 doesn't exist in this server but this time server doesn't provide any bounce back because the catch all address is set in this server if we go back to the mailbox of catch all address you can see that, okay it has the mail that from test 5 to test 10 but test 10 doesn't exist therefore this mail landed to this inbox let me give an another example from my gmail let me compose an email i am writing an a very unnecessary at the red sample of servers dot xyz test test i've sent the mail you can see from this gmail account this server received a mail and that is forwarded to the catcher ladder let's see what is the two address that the gmail account is used you can see the gmail account has used this bogus type of two address that is definitely not a valid address and doesn't exist in this server therefore this mail forward to the catch all address so you saw a honest mistake and a unnecessary mail so if you set up a catch all address keep it keep this in your mind that you will get lots of unnecessary emails more than 90 percent of your emails in the catch all inbox will be unnecessary mails so it will consume a lot of your server storage so before configuring a catch all address keep this in your mind most most of the time catch all address are set by those companies who want to collect contacts by any means whether they get spam or false email or any kind of email they just want to collect the contacts that's why they set up a catch-all address in your in their domain so now so now if we want to remove the catch-all address what will we do if we want to remove the catch-all address i will just simply remove the domain and set it as null so now when i set it as null if I send a if I send a test mail, let me send a test mail from test five again. I'm doing that honest mistake. Test one zero. Test. Test. Send. As you can see, test 5 got a non delivery notification because we have disabled the catalyst.
so that that is the whole purpose the configuration and testing of cathode address now it's up to you when you should use the cathode address how you can configure the cathode address i have shown you and definitely you should keep you keep in your mind the pros and cons of all aspects of setting up the cathode address so thank you guys thank you for watching this video i will try to make this kind of small videos more and more to share you lots of small configurations related to zimla as well as i will try to come up with some real life problems that generally users face along with their solutions let me know your feedback in the comment and i will try to improve the content of the video as per your comment so once again thank you for being with us have a great day thank you so much